Hello everyone, in this issue of Platinum Tech, we are talking about torque plates. Now assembling an engine looks pretty easy, but just like painting a car, the prep work determines just how good the result is going to be. And part of that is preparing your block. Now when you send it off to the machine shop, some of them might keep it pretty simple, just a quick deck, a quick hone, and off you go. But some people go all out, and you can have offset boring, torque plate honing, you can sonic test the block, you can strengthen it, you can do all sorts of things. And what we're going to talk about today is using a torque plate on a block and how using different types of torque plates can affect that final result. Now, someone that's been doing a lot of development and research on torque plates is Herman from Platinum Racing Products. So we caught up with him to talk about how different torque plates can affect the final outcome of how good your block is. OK, I get asked these sorts of questions all the time. It's basically like boring and honing your block with the head on there because it pulls the bore in all sorts of different shapes and sizes uh, and it makes a massive difference. So to give you an, an example, you could, without doing these bolts up, run a dial gauge down that bore and you could have a fairly straight bore. You go and bolt up your torque plate and that bore will move like thou. 3,000, 4,000 here and there, it can move a lot more. So what you want to do is, is, is simulate having the head on there with the head gasket and the bolts that you're using to the right tension and use the grease if you're going to use grease, the same grease. You want to simulate as much as possible before you go and run your boring tool down that, that path. Once it's bored, you can remove it all and check it for roundness. You'll find your balls are out around and it's all over the place, but all that doesn't matter. When your engine's running, you want a, a, a circle. You want it to be perfectly cylindrical. That's where your piston's going to be running up and down. So you're going to cause less friction. You're going to cause less scoring on the piston. You're, going to, uh, you're eliminating premature piston wear. Yeah, blow by, massive, massive. Especially on a longer stroke engine like a 30, the bores move so much, you can torque plate an engine and not torque plate another and do a back-to-back -back test and one's going to breathe a hell of a lot heavy, heavier than the other one. So my recommendation, not for just RBs but for every engine, use a torque plate that simulates the head as much as possible, the same thickness, close to the same material or as close as you can get and try and pretend that you are actually boring an engine that is completely built. Well, you get a torque plate that's inch and a half thick. It's made of steel. The properties that that steel plate's going to offer are completely different. You couldn't even begin to calculate how different it is. It doesn't matter. It's inconsequential. What you need to do is simulate what you're running. So you want to have the same bolt stretch, and you can't do that with a shorter plate. So you'd have to run a long bolt with spaces to try and simulate that stretch, to try and get your bores to bend out of shape as much as possible, or as much as it will do when you've got your head on there. So you want it to be less work, uh, a nice thick plate, the same thickness as the head. You want to put those same bolts in it, have them stretch the same amount, and obviously simulate, as I said before, that condition. So anything other than an alloy plate that's the same thickness as a head is kind of subtracting from where you need to be. We try and keep the bore size just the right size to be able to get your tooling in there, see what's going on and take measurements. So you don't want it too tight, you don't want it too big. You want the same overall width as your head, you want the same thickness as the head. Now the only reason that we started making our own torque plates is because I'd go and borrow a mate's torque plate and I'm going, well that doesn't really achieve what I think it should achieve. And I'm going, I think we can do better and you go and, you go and do better. I mean, they're not an extremely expensive bit of gear when you start um, punching out, you know, dozens of RBs or SRs or whatever you're doing. Um, but you will find it will save you money in the long run.